Welcome back. This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee, and today we're going to be doing a walk around on a 1967 Camaro. Be walking around, pointing out any kind of flaws that I could find. That way, you know exactly what you're getting when you arrive here at Maple Motors. You can check our website out, MapleMotors.com. We got financing information, wheels, tires, parts, accessories, and yes, we can ship these cars all over the U.S. This Camaro here has a 327 under the hood, a four-speed transmission. Does have drum brakes all the way around. Uh, no power steering on this one. I went ahead and opened the trunk to make it easier so I'm not flipping the camera around. Same with the hood. We'll go ahead and peek in the trunk before we get this thing started, check everything out. It has rained a lot here and there is some moisture in the trunk. You see a little bit of water popping up on top of the mat there. I'll lift the mat up, let you see underneath. It does have a little bit of surface rust popping up, probably from that moisture. Looks like somebody's patched the trunk. It may need a trunk. It's not that bad, but there is a patch right here. Of course, we got all our spare and stuff down. Let's look up in the top. Little surface rust up there as well. Nothing major, nothing that needs to be redone. Got a little bit of hole coming up right there on that package tray. I'm trying to get up close in detail here. Get the camera to zoom in. Weather stripping around the trunk looks pretty good. Trunk lid itself's not bad. And it shuts down nice and easy. We're gonna start up here in the front now. I do not believe the hideaway lights work. I think you just have to manually push them back. Just like that. Nice new chrome bumper sitting on the front of the car. Looks fairly clean on the front end here. We'll go down the side. Just kind of checking it out real good. We're going to come back, hit the side again. He's wanting me to line him up here, so I'm not going to leave him in there sweating. Come on back. There we go. Perfect. Getting back to the car here. Sorry about that. Got some chrome trim at the bottom. It's a little chip in the paint there. Gonna be checking the vinyl top out real well as make sure that there isn't a lot of rust up under there. The trim in the front window looks great. The trim around the vent windows looks awesome. The weather stripping looks good. They've replaced the mirrors. They've replaced the weather stripping around the doors and the back window. Let's go ahead and check this top here. What I'm looking for is any kind of bubbles to be up under this top and feeling around for them because it will collect moisture up under here. And I'm not seeing any so far. We'll check the other side as we make our way around the car. Good tread on the tires. Back end looks pretty good. A little dirty back here. There is a spot right here. Got dirty from the test drive I just did. You can check out the test drive video by waiting to the last 30 seconds of this video or any video. Looks like some bubbling's popping up around the tail lights. A little crack right there where the trunk comes down. Same thing's happening on this tail light as well. Just 
Checking the top out again. Looks like something could be right up under here. It's very small. Top's kind of peeling back in the corner there. You can see some like spider web cracking up under the top. I don't know if it's popping up in the video or not. I'm trying to make it to where you could see that. And there's some spots, little bubbles popping up right there. Very small, but that's kind of stuff you want to look for. Yeah, see, look, road got it all dirty. It's solid back here. Had to pick up all this dirt from just test driving it. Chip right there in the door. Golly. It was just raining, so I got lucky I even got the test drive done. Here's another little spot right here in the fender they touched up. And we have made it around the car. We're gonna go ahead and check the interior out and start her up, shut the hood, give you some undercarriage shots. Insulation's hanging a little bit and there's a rip right here that holds on to that clip. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Door opens up nice and easy. Door panel's not in bad shape. It does have a little bit of wear there around the door handle to be expected. It's pulling a little bit in the front here and in the back, just a little. Checking the bottoms of the doors. Carpet's in decent shape. Interior looks pretty good. It's not all tore up. Package tray looks good. Headliner, it's not bad until you get to these little rips right here where the stitching is. Rest of it looks pretty good. Go ahead and place your bet. Something fun we like to do on this channel. Do you think the horn works? Well, they gave me a bunch of keys. I should get it at least by the second try here we'll go ahead and start her up oh first good deal let's pull her out of gear this thing shifts awesome definitely check the test drive video out it starts easy i had it idling in the parking lot and we did the whole test drive she's still sitting at 180. oil pressure's up uh about 25 to 30 give it a little gas and shoots to 50. Radio does work on this one. Top right corner of your screen, guys, you can place the bets. You just gotta make it pop up. Blower motor is working. Should be putting out some heat. I hear it blowing. Uh, gas gauge, it was on F when we left before the test drive, and then after I got gas, it went even further. So it's not working correctly, but it did go up when I put gas in it. Showing 44,000 miles, that's very hard to stand behind with a 67 model car. Windshield wipers work great. Horn, how many of y'all won that bet? <laughs> and it works every time. Oh yeah. Owner's manual touch up paint. That's what we've been seeing all around the car there. Clean ashtray. Oh yeah.
Motor's nice and quiet on this one. A little squeak from the belt. Well, it was squeaking. I can't get it to do it now. There it goes. Very slight squeak from the belt. The hood comes down just, just barely touching it. It's nice and easy. You don't have to force that down at all. Comes down, latches with ease. I always love the look of a Camaro. 69 is my favorite year, but 67 is pretty awesome because it's got the vent window. They're all very similar. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and give you some undercarriage shots. You can also check out close to 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com, so be sure to check out the website. That's something we tell everybody that calls to do. We're going to go ahead and start up here in the front. Once again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I post videos every single day. You can also hit the notification bell to be alerted every time a video pops up. We buy seven to 14 cars every week. Every Monday, we update our website. That website is maplemotors.com. Be sure to check it out. Be sure to check out the 100 detailed pictures. Both videos that we offer on every car. We have financing information and we have shipping information. If you need that website again it's down below in the description we have about 1300 videos here on youtube so definitely check them out we've had a ton of cars in we keep at least 30 cars in at all times usually by the end of the week before we update we'll be down to 15 or so but like i said we, we always end up restocking all right guys appreciate you watching thanks again